Hey! Hi everyone! Welcome to a new video. This will be a special one. I wanted to film this the whole summer, but for some reason never got a chance. And now on the last day of summer, on the last day of August, I have all set up and the sun came out and it's the best time to film this video. Basically, at the end of the summer season, and now that I have everything laid out here, I wanted to share with you my summer shoe collection. I have about 20 pairs here. There are high heels, there are wedges, there are sliders, there are flip-flops, and I just wanted to share just the shoes that I have, so it might be a little bit awkward, but there it is, my summer shoe collection of 2020. I have them all laid out here and I'm gonna go pair by pair. I want to excuse, please forgive me in advance for the light. It might be changing today. The whole day I've been raining and I've been waiting for the perfect moment. Now is the perfect moment. So I have like very limited time to film it. So let's start. Also wanted to point out that I chose this outfit specifically because I think it will fit with all of my shoes. So it's a wide shirt, I think it's Dominic's, and I'm also wearing a jeans skirt, which I um, got from my sister. Uh, I think it's a D squared shirt, uh, skirt, sorry, and uh, voila, that's the look, and I'm going to be trying every shoes with this particular look because I think it works. First up, we have those wedges, got them in Florence a few years ago. Uh, they're very nice, quite comfortable shoes and easy to slip on, just like so. See, duck. Once again, I was going to get rid of them this summer, but now trying them on, I find them very, very comfortable thanks to that wedge as well. This is leather and they're really comfortable and I think it even works with this look just like that. So yeah, I also like to wear them with the jeans sometimes where you just see the toes. And yeah, I think it's a lovely pair with a nice shiny golden detail, lovely. And they're not particularly designer shoes, we bought them in Florence a few years ago when we were traveling with Dominic for holidays, but um, yeah, they were not expensive either, so I'm very happy with that. Moving on. This pair, once again, got them. Where did I get them? Actually, I think on sale uh, in US. I was still working at the school and I was looking for a summer shoe that's not too edgy, but has a little wedge, so comfortable. And something summery, something that I could work with my summer suits to go to work, you know, so yeah, they were not expensive because I shopped them on outlet and um, I don't know, I really like them somehow and as it goes with the other shoes, I'm gonna stay, keep them there, um, I really, somehow, sometimes I, I think I should get rid of them, uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, they're nice little shoes, so Unless I get something better, these guys stay. So, so far, yeah. So voila, that's my second pair. Got them, um, when did I get these? Five years ago. Mm -hmm. And I'll make a little situation here from the shoes I wore. It's showing you as well that Adidas 
sliders which also work as a summer shoe as you can see absolutely love them and my gray, na gray nails <laughs> match all the shoes okay let's move on I like that I'm still wearing my sunglasses because it's a summer vibes video and basically I didn't want to wear my makeup so I thought sunglasses work perfectly fine. Those are my Pradas. If you want to check out my eyewear collection you must welcome on my channel. Anyway, these shoes, the sandals, they are somewhat already designer because this is Cole Han and their collaboration with Nike. It has soft pads and they're so comfortable you can almost run in them. So I got them oops, in 2005, no 2015, in 2015 and uh, ask my friends, ask Dominic, I've been wearing these quite some time and they're super comfortable. However, However, there is a point where they're comfortable because if you can see the heel is quite strong and then all of a sudden these start to be so damn sharp, almost like a knife. So yeah, like they are comfortable but there is, there is something interesting to them when it comes to wearing for a while. I'm so happy the sun came out. I hope I can move on with my shoe collection. Anyway, let's get on. Hope you like. Please leave in the comments below which shoes were, which pair was your favorite. Alrighty then, next pair. Alright, time to wear this. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I used to love those wedges. Honestly, I bought them in Odessa many years ago, really, more than 10 years ago. I can't even remember. It, they were really in fashion at the time. Italian brand Fornarina, if you know Fornarina, they have this amazing corally, like dusky corally shade and patent leather so shiny leather nice wedge and even though they're quite old of age uh, they still look fine they're still comfortable got this little uh, scratch leather scratches here but other than that they're perfectly fine and yeah I hope there will be a moment when I will wear them again because currently I don't see myself going out in high heel like this and once again as you can see the my, my style meaning wide shirt and denim jean works with each and pair each and single pair and even these glasses because usually like i'm trying on stuff and if something doesn't match it annoys me but the glasses go really well with this outfit and i really i really miss these shoes but yeah, I'm keeping them for the sake of good memory and good fashion. I, I think they're beautiful, but I don't know if I will ever wear them again somewhere out. But you know, never say never. 
and it's just fun to play around with outfits sometimes and especially if we have like a banquet or a special event where I know that we come with a car and taxi etc that I don't need to walk much because these ones are very comfortable for standing yeah they're perfect for standing you see all right next pair so I obviously have apart from high heels I had I have flat shoes as well and you've seen most of them my Instagram they all have a story uh, these ones <laughs> they're like slides I got in Odessa on the market they're really really <laughs> not that expensive at all I think it was one dollar but I just like that they've got this cat you know image and it says chilling and it says whatever so it's they're pretty cute I have my flip-flops from a brand coach actually I kind of nicked this one from my mom because they were hers and then I was like oh lovely flip-flops so yeah I thought I'm gonna show show them because I like them they're black at the same time they have nice this gold detail that makes you wanna pair it with something fancy these ones my absolute favorite is the sand yeah sorry I got this after my internship in Thailand oh, I love them these are 16 years old can you believe it they don't look like they're 16 years old I find that always when I wear them it gives me like a very cool vibe like like sustainable like eco eco-friendly because when I was working in Thailand they were part of the uniform so I had nice linen uniform and these matched very nicely and it, I think it's very considerate of the hotel to provide uh, staff members with, uh, with the shoes as well because oftentimes when you have a nice uniform but you don't have matching shoes I think it's a shame so these were both pleasure to work in and 16 years on you know I worked in Everson Hua Hin Resort in Thailand and this is just my proud moment you know as a teenager teenager no I was 19 when I worked there so those were that and look the quality is so good it's leather oh, it aged beautifully it's very well made very well made can you believe this they're almost like don't look warm okay these ones a bit special and I probably should get rid of them I don't know why I keep them honestly but there are times when it's only this kind of shoe kind of sandal can work because you want something like minimal so yeah you see what I mean just like a minimum minimal sandal and it goes with this look as well can you see this sorry as I said the, the sun is shining against me but we're talking shoes here and yeah you see they're from Mako Braska. I have them also more than 10 years just about 10 years yeah they were not expensive but I think that sometimes you really need that kind of minimal shoe also because sorry they look so red on the camera my knuckles anyway sometimes you want that kind of minimum sh minimal shoe to go with a very nice dainty outfit so yeah that's that and what else you've seen these those are just like nice nice sandal got them in Italy I think in Spotorno or Bergeggi and I'll try one of these as well just for you get an idea because I feel like this video is going to be quite long anyway just two of completely different type of sandal these ones I got last year in uh, Fergile it's a really cool shop in Montreal this has like rose gold detail here I quite like pink 
and the sandal is very comfortable and they were like 25 francs from this make Jenny Ferry anyway that was this and this one I quite like but sometimes I find it depending where I'm going that I don't always feel like wearing these ones anyway you probably have seen on my Instagram some of these already these are new got them just um, what was it in April? no not in April I got them like a month ago because I wanted something to wear at home something very comfortable to have shoes that I know that I will wear only at home like when we have friends over or when we have like kind of romantic dinners with Dominic and obviously I'm not gonna wear high heels at home but I think this kind of sandal works well so yeah I'm gonna keep it that way um, yeah what else to say about them they're quite basic but I like them I like them call it spring you see vegan sandals can you believe it never seen vegan sandals anyway very nice and I like the color as well these ones you've probably seen on my Instagram or in other vlogs I have them for a while I got them in Florence Oops, sorry, noisy got them in Florence and um, they're a nice little leather shiny detail See if I move to the light. Yeah, move to the light. Here you go. If I slightly move to the light, you see how nice and shiny they are, and I absolutely love them. Not the most comfortable position, but yeah, I didn't want to tie them up. They're almost like a Greek gladiator sandal, you know, antique. It gives me antique vibes, especially because we got them in Florence. But yeah, even with this outfit, you can see that it works. Just didn't want to lock. Didn't want to close them properly. But you get the vibes. I absolutely love them. It was really nice. I think I showed you all of my flat ones. That's pretty much the flats, except for this pair. So this pair of sandals I got from my sister because they are a tiny bit too big for her and they're just just right for me as you can see they're just 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 right and um, I don't wear them there very often and pretty much because I find this the stones they're so bright do you know what I mean they're very shiny and uh, I don't know where to wear them I mean it has to be a very luxurious very luxurious resort to wear something like this I almost feel like Scheherazade if you know what I mean from 1001 nights like little oriental princess so yeah I am still waiting for an occasion to to wear them but I do love them and I appreciate my, th my sister thinking about me if something doesn't fit her properly she's like mm, maybe it will be better for my so I'm quite happy about this otherwise they're very nice they're thin you see you see how thin they are so they're just yeah perfect for a luxurious a luxurious holiday
you probably are looking at these shoes and thinking, oh my God, what are those? What are those? Yep, I must tell you, there was a time, there was... <laughs> There was a time, literally, where I thought that wearing shoes like this um, is trendy and fashionable and I thought that being tall and pretty much dressing up, not like that, I thought that this was not fashion. You probably, if you are like from the 2000s, 90s era, especially in 2000s, this is when this kind of shoe starts to be popular and I got them in 2007 I remember clearly because it was my friend's wedding and I needed a purple this lilac type of shoe to match the dress and this is what I found um, to say they're uncomfortable mm, they're not really uncomfortable but this killer heel you can see killer heel like you can easily twist your ankle you can easily um, break your leg your foot whatever if you fall down they're pretty damn dangerous very sexy yes yes for sure but once again this is not the type of shoe I'm ve wearing very often um, currently my style have changed but I'm keeping them just as a memory because I don't know what else to do <laughs> with them I don't think anybody wants to buy them they're not designer they are well-made Italian shoes but um, yeah basically this is I'm keeping them as as a memory of my wild 20s Unfortunately, the clouds are coming in and I guess we're going to have to continue in the lights like this. I hope you don't mind. I hope you can see. I only have a few pairs left to show. I am a few. Mm. <laughs> Seven? Stay tuned. Well, I'll go quickly through these ones. They're easy to put on. Those are my pointy toe summer raffia, um, how do you call them, kitten heel shoes from guess got them on sale a couple years ago i have a special pad here which makes these ones from non-comfortable to super comfortable oh i love these shoes do you know what i really like the shoe they're super cool they're absolutely cool look at the color and the detail i absolutely like this detail it's so cute see i have to be more careful with them because last time when i went out came back with some damage but i absolutely love them when i want to look a bit more sophisticated and formal and uh, still summery this is the type of shoe i go for and i actually start to think that this is quite of my style like sort of sling back yeah do you like it from guess on sale they were brilliant along this kind of cozy kitten hill i have another pair of cole han which is you know kind of designer as well so these were from guess bought on sale these were from an outlet in the US. I absolutely love them. Do you know what? They're so comfortable. Of course, there is some wear and tear because uh, I've been bought them in 2015 and these I got, I think, 2017. Yes, this were 2017. So these are very comfortable as well. Kitten Hill, nude, nude neutral, neutral tones little gold detail on the buckle very cute and very comfortable and once again you see that it does go with this look so it's something about the look itself white shirt denim skirt and pretty much all of my summer shoes all right so these were some kind of basic shoes that i have 
absolutely love but these are very special to me bought them in America in the US in the outlet I love shopping outlets this is Calvin Klein and these uh, were ridiculous price in the shop so obviously I couldn't resist and I got these super super cool and comfortable shoes so these shoes here uh, they were not worn they were not even in my summer shelf but these and the rest of the shoes that I'm gonna show you they were pretty much on my summer shelf look how cool are these I really like these shoes and I like the the vibe as well. Okay, um, to mention right away, I don't think I will wear this, sorry, I don't think I will wear these shoes with this look. It's not a completely disgusting look, but I think I could do something better. It looks weird at the back, you see? Because these shoes, even though they're really cool, not all outfits go with it so today i find it's a case but what do you think nice nice color nice style like i say this is kind of timeless style with a little bit of the wedge on the side yeah i like them very much and once again because i bought them uh, on sale they were really they're really working for me <laughs> and definitely a keeper for next year. These shoes are probably my most favorite summer boot ever summer sock boot it's got nice elasticated fabric here this is leather patent leather a little bit glossy the color is amazing it's almost like champagne gold little gray champagne area neutral it goes with so many things i can't even tell you how many things it goes with got them in italy in Torino three years ago also they're not particularly a uh, famous designer but they're well-made Italian shoes and Italian shoes to me they're all designer because the quality is complete outstanding seriously such a good quality if you need to shop for, for shoes good shoes can't recommend enough going to Italy and like trying on shoes there and not particularly designer just go into any shoe store and start trying on shoes you'll be shocked the weather is not on my side but it doesn't matter I'm gonna go on and finish this lovely shoe collection these are my wedges bought them in Barcelona last year oh my god oh was it two years no oh, it was last year and um, they're super cool Aren't they gorgeous? The fabric is really nice. It's got almost like a velvety touch here and they're really good quality. They're just one of that spectacular little cozy summer shoes. It gives me like Tommy Hilfiger vibes. They could easily be looking, you know, classy and also casual. It depends what you're wearing. So obviously if I'm wearing it with the denim skirt it kind of looks cool as you can see very comfortable as well but if I would wear a dress it would be a very nice outfit for let's say Sunday lunch and the restaurant or somewhere like that so yeah what a lovely little br buy what's the brand let me check the brand Tony Pons Essential 
and I did find them on Instagram so if you like the shoes have a look on Instagram uh, Tony Pons Essential but yeah very good quality made in Spain well done to the wedge so for the next shoe I think I'm not gonna try it on just for simple reason because it's really really annoying to lace it all the way properly that it looks good but um, what I was gonna say they, of course they have a little story I bought these shoes in Malaga in Malaga in 2008 and they are from the manic hazel I'm in size 40 I love the color of this leather so obviously can you imagine I have them for 12 years so no wonder they look battered and worn but actually when I do put them on they add a very very nice dainty touch to it because of the color the color is very nice like dusky champagne color so when I wear it they seem to add a little touch of like light elegance light edge to them so I'm very happy with them so guys I only have two pairs for the ones we've been watching this long and probably wonder what's in this bag I'm gonna show you in a moment but I have a few pairs of shoes that I got from the shop Attitude in Montreux so just a big shout out to the shop they're not sponsoring the video but I always find good stuff here so these is very special because Dominic got for my birthday last year I'll try it on for you they're very beautiful shoe and they are special of course they've got the snake snake skin detail absolutely gorgeous Jimmy Choo look at the heel and the quality of of it is spectacular so my correct size in fact is let me show you 39 and a half this is my true size 39 and a half Italian size but it's very difficult to find 39 and a half I just love how they look they're very special they're comfortable you can feel they're good quality you can feel they're a designer and I absolutely love them especially because it's a present from my darling to me and once again I think this look works what do you think I think it's perfect just with a little clutch bag and then go out yeah so once again please let me know which pair of shoes was your favorite now for the most patient amongst you you were waiting patiently to know what's inside this box and the truth is you've actually seen the shoes it's just I keep them in the box because you find they are very precious those are Casa Day and Dominic if you remember my birthday vlog he got me a pair of Jimmy Choo's but unfortunately they were size 39 and if you've just seen yourself in Jimmy Choo I'm 39 and a half and I know that for sure because I already have two pairs uh, the other pair is more into autumnal winter collection 
which I'm gonna show you um, some sometime later I guess in a couple of months anyway those were the exchange from the Jimmy's from my birthday vlog uh, because they were small I went back to Attitude and they can kindly help me find a better pair and it was this pair so I'm keeping my shoes in the in the box because I think they're just too precious they're beautiful like white almost clinic white off-white color with the nice beautiful edge trim and look at this heel this heel is spectacular it's very thin and very beautiful mm, and I love the smell of good leather shoe. So I'm gonna quickly pop this for you to show you how it looks on me and that would be it. Let's see. Yeah, a beautiful pair of shoes, honestly stunning, and I think they are absolutely party shoes, and I cannot wait to go out and party wearing these shoes. And the rest of my summer shoes, they're now <laughs> stuck there, and here I'm going to clean it all up, but I hope you get the point and have enjoyed my collection and i'm very sorry for the lights once again but it is the last day of august and uh, actually wait tomorrow is the last day of august i think i got confused here for a moment anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and um, it's a bit casual it's not your typical video I didn't know how to start, but I thought this is my last chance to do it before um, before this topic of summer shoes is completely out of season and relevance. Anyway, I'm also happy that most of my sh summer shoes matched with my very, very basic look. And since I'm working on my capsule wardrobe and sort of signature look, I realized that a white shirt and something denim is definitely on my favorite part all right then. i had lots of fun filming this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up some thumbs <laughs> you know what i mean please like the video please subscribe if you're new to the channel every subscriber counts we are growing we're in a little community and i do post uh fashion and lifestyle related videos and just daily vlogs and routines so i hope to have you back uh, thanks for watching have a lovely lovely last day of summer and uh, officially summer ends on 21st of september i think something to do with the lunar stuff anyway enjoy and uh, i hope you're gonna have an amazing uh, autumn full of cozy vibes and healthy mood and healthy body so voila that's it have a lovely time wherever you are stay cool stay healthy and i'll see you in my next video bye